Shalom everyone, it's Kol Torah, and today we will talk about Parashat Chayei Sarah, the life of Sarah, that we will read this Shabbat. Many people think that Abraham's ultimate test, the most difficult one, the most challenging one, was last week's Parsha, the binding of Isaac. And there is no doubt that was one of the most difficult things, probably almost impossible things, for a parent to do. However, there is a very interesting opinion by a rabbi named of Rabbeinu Yonah who claims that the ultimate test, the most difficult test, was not last week's Pasha, but the most difficult test for Abraham was this week's Pasha, the death of Sarah and its funeral. And when you think about it, it seems to be a little odd. The death of his wife was obviously horrible, was devastating. She was his life partner. She built with him the house, but to bring your own son for a sacrifice, isn't that a little harder, a little harsher? How can we explain this opinion that claims that the most difficult test that Avram had to go through was the purchase of the cave, the burial cave for Sarah? How can we understand it? I would like to suggest to you the following idea. Many times in life, we go through experiences. We go through, it may be spiritual experience, it can be something else, different experiences in life. And we accomplish higher and higher levels based on the efforts we put in, the work, the ideas, the planning. And sometimes what's happening is naturally is that when we accomplish something very high, when we accomplish something that we work so hard for, it is very hard for us to relate to people that are not in our level, that people that are not in our, what I will say, clique. I'll give you an example. Sometimes people will go and Let's say they will be, they will, let's take two examples. They go and they volunteer somewhere and they volunteer and they do a lot of kindness. When they come back home, it's just very hard for them to relate to the day-to-day -day business of the universe. They just don't know what to do with it. They're all about giving and being kind and being gracious. And then they come back here and they just like, they, they don't fit. On a spiritual level, we can have the same thing. Sometimes people become very, very involved with religion and then they just cannot relate to people who are not exactly like them. Think about it. Avraham, last week's Pasha, Avraham takes his son, who is willing to bring him as an offering to God. And the angel of God says to him, don't do that. Now I know that you are a fear, God-fearing person. And, and there is no doubt in my mind, you are the best man on earth. You would think that Abraham will just sit on his little throne and will just say, there is no one to talk to in this world because no one is at my level. But you know what Abraham needs to do? Immediately after this peak of experience, of religious experience, he needs to go down. He needs to deal with simple people that negotiate with him on a piece of land that was promised to him. And at the end of the negotiation, he is paying a tremendous amount of money for a piece of land to bury his own wife. To go through from an unbelievable, undescribable ritual and undescribable spiritual experience to talk to just simple people. And Avram did it in such a respectful manner, in such a beautiful manner. Even though Avram went through a tremendous experience, he knew how to go back to life and to be again grounded with the people around him. I think there is a tremendous lesson for us. We all, during our days, accomplish things in our lives. 
or even if we don't accomplish things, but we go through things in our lives. May it be successes, may it be problems or challenges. But the most challenging thing is that when you leave your walk or when you leave that experience, how do you relate to others? Do you wear it on your sleeves that you are upset or you are sad or you are angry or you are frustrated or you are happy? How do we relate to other people who are not exactly around us, with us? Says a lot about who we are. So the challenge for us is to take exactly this lesson and to accomplish more and more, but to never lose sight from the expectation that we have to others. The expectations that others have from us that when we go home or that when we see other friends, we should know how to relate to them in a respectful manner, not to wear on our sleeves our pride or our frustration, but rather to greet everyone nicely, respectfully, and to understand that the most challenging thing for us is twofold. On one hand, to accomplish greatness. On the other hand, and at the same time, to relate to everyone who is around us. Thank you.